which of the following are parametric equations for the entire unit circle, choose all that apply. The graph of the unit circle is given here. It's the circle centered at the origin with the radius of one. There's a couple things you need to remember about the unit circle before we answer this question. First, the rectangular equation for the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals one. And then also in trigonometry we learned for any point on the unit circle, the x coordinate equals cosine theta and the y coordinate is equal to sine theta. So by performing substitution into the rectangular equation, we get the trig identity cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. So we'll be using these two equations to help us answer this question. In general, parametric equations for graphs given by rectangular equations must satisfy the following requirements. Number one, the parametric equations must satisfy the rectangular equation. And number two, there must be an interval for t that produce all the x and y values of the graph given by the rectangular equation. And of course, we could also verify all these by graphing them. Looking over the list though, notice how this third option definitely gives us a unit circle where x of t equals cosine t and y of t equals sine t. Now let's check the rest of the parametric equations. First we have x of t equals two cosine t and y of t equals two sine t. So we should recognize right away the coefficient of two changes the amplitude of cosine and sine and therefore x of t and y of t are gonna take on values from negative two all the way to positive two and therefore these would not give us a unit circle. But if we did wanna verify this by performing substitution, we'd substitute two cosine t for x and two sine t for y into our equation x squared plus y squared equals one. So if we perform the substitution, we'd have the square of two cosine t plus the square of two sine t. And the question is, does this equal one? Well, here we'd have four cosine squared t plus four sine squared t. Factoring out the four, we have four times the quantity cosine squared t plus sine squared t. Well, we know that cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to one because of this identity. Well, four times one obviously does not equal one, and therefore these would not give us the unit circle. Let's also verify this graphically. I've already set some of this up. If we press the mode key, we're already in parametric mode. Pressing y equals, I've already entered the equations that we know give us a unit circle, x equals cosine t, y equals sine t. Pressing window, t goes from negative 10 to 10. The x min and y min are negative two. The x max and y max are positive two. With this window though, if we press graph, the circle looks like an ellipse we need to square the window by pressing zoom and then option five for z square. Now we have our circle. Now let's go back to y equals. And let's enter two cosine t, two sine t into the second set of parametric equations. So x equals two cosine t and y equals two sine t. Now if we press graph, notice how we have a circle with radius two not with the radius of one. Next we have x equals cosine t, y equals sine two t. So performing substitution into the equation x squared plus y squared equals one, if x equals cosine t, x squared would be cosine squared t, plus if y equals sine two t, y squared would be sine squared two t. And the question is does this equal one? We should recognize this is not equal one because if cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one, these two angles must be the same in order for this sum to be equal to one. Here we have t and here we have two t, so this is not equal to one, and therefore these parametric equations would not give us a unit circle. But again, let's verify this graphically. So we'll press y equals, clear the second set of parametric equations, and enter x equals cosine t, and y equals sine two t. Remember the two, that's a coefficient of t, changes the period of the sine function. Pressing graph, notice how there's a unit circle, and the second set of parametric equations 
is obviously not a circle. Next we have x of t equals t, y of t equals the square root of the quantity, one minus t squared. By the way, we have a problem here with y of t, because y of t equals the square root of the quantity, one minus t squared, y is always going to be non-negative, and because the unit circle has negative y values, there's no way this set of primitive equations is going to give us a unit circle. But notice that if we do try to see if these equations satisfy x squared plus y squared equals one, if x equals t, x squared would be t squared, plus if y equals the square root of the quantity one minus t squared, we'd have the square of the square root of one minus t squared. And notice how if we simplify, we'd have t squared plus the square of this square root would just be one minus t squared. So notice how simplifying, these equations do satisfy the rectangular equation. This is why we have the second requirement where the primitive equations must give the x and y value shown on the graph of the rectangular equation. Again, let's verify this graphically. So we'll go back to y equals, go down to the second set of parametric equations and clear them. x of t equals t, and y of t equals the square root of the quantity one minus t squared. Pressing graph, there's a unit circle, and notice how the second set of parametric equations only gives us the top half of the unit circle. Next we have x equals sine t, y equals cosine t, which looks very similar to x equals cosine t and y equals sine t, except the cosine and the sine are interchanged. Notice how if we perform substitution into our rectangular equation, if x equals sine t, x squared would be sine squared t, so we'd have sine squared t plus if y equals cosine t, y squared would be cosine squared t. And the question is, does this equal one? Well, because addition is commutative, we should recognize that this is true. And because cosine and sine both take on values from negative one to positive one, which are the x and y values on the unit circle, this would give us a unit circle. The points would not be the same for the same t values as these parametric equations, but they still would trace out the unit circle. Again, let's verify this using the calculator. So we'll press y equals, again, clear out the second set of parametric equations, and we have x equals sine t, and y equals cosine t. Graph, there's the original unit circle, and there's the second unit circle. Next we have x equals cosine three t and y equals sine three t. Performing substitution into x squared plus y squared, we'd have cosine squared three t plus sine squared three t. And the question is, does this equal one? And again, we should recognize that it does equal one because these two angles are the same and therefore it satisfies this identity. And again, cosine and sine take on the values from negative one to positive one and therefore this would graph the entire unit circle, though the coefficient of three would change the period. These equations would trace out the unit circle three times as often as these parametric equations here. Again, let's verify it graphically. So y equals clear, clear. X of t equals cosine three t. Enter, y of t equals sine three t and graph. There's the original unit circle, and there's a unit circle given by the second set of parametric equations. So we'll go ahead and check these parametric equations. We have two left. Next we have x equals cosecant t, y equals cotangent t. So performing substitution, we'd have cosecant squared t plus cotangent squared t. The question is, does this equal one? This doesn't equal one because the identity involving cosecant and cotangent is cotangent squared theta plus one equals cosecant squared theta, which does not match this equation, and therefore it does not satisfy the equation x squared plus y squared equals one, so these equations do not give us a unit circle. 
And our last set of primitive equations, our x equals cosine of the quantity t plus one and y equals sine of the quantity t plus one. Performing substitution, we have cosine squared of the quantity t plus one plus sine squared of the quantity t plus one equals one. This is true, notice how these two angles are the same, so it does satisfy this identity. Again, both the cosine and the sine function take on the values from negative one to positive one, and therefore this would graph the entire unit circle. Let's go ahead and finish by verifying this graphically. Press y equals, clear out the second set of primitive equations again. And again, x of t equals cosine of the quantity t plus one, and y of t equals sine of the quantity t plus one. Graph, there's the original unit circle, and there's a unit circle given by the second set of parametric equations. I hope you found this helpful.